All right, so in no way, shape, or form was this meant to be an all-inclusive list of exactly why I chose the Garmin Advanced Marathon Training Program. That's what the next 16 plus weeks are for, and come Marathon Day, hopefully the results. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hi everybody, my name is Matt and this is What Matters to Matt. And yesterday I did feel like bringing out the old Crush the Resistance mug. If you've watched any of my videos, there's a few times where this mug has shown up at the first of my videos and also probably just because I found this t-shirt that I forgot, honestly forgot I really had and it says, um, this is my happy face. Uh, anyways, it came from the kids a little while ago. I found it, it's a little bit wrinkled. Wanted to wear it anyways because I'm in a pretty good mood and what I wanted to talk about today was just how excited I am. I know I say I'm excited in a lot of my videos, but how excited I am that I finally kind of landed on exactly the training plan that I want to do for my next marathon training coming up here in late fall of this year. Now during this week, I've done sort of a trial run of the first week of that plan and I mentioned that in my last video. My last video was actually about one of those runs that I did, a little bit of an interval session, but I wanna go over exactly why I've decided on the Garmin Advanced Marathon Training Program. I've got three main points that I wanna cover and a little bit of wiggle room in terms of how many points within those points and the reasons why I chose this plan. But without further ado, let's get into exactly why I've chosen the Garmin Advanced Marathon Training Program. All right, so now if you have been watching my videos, you probably know that I did use the Hal Higdon Intermediate Training Program to run my first and train for my first ever marathon. And it was very, very successful, but there were a few things that I wanted to change up this time around, and we'll get into those today. Now, if you haven't been watching any of my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. It's free to you. It motivates me so, so much to see that I get more people that are interested in my content, sharing just what I'm doing to be the best I can be for my family. Enough about that hard sell on subscribing to the channel. Let's move on to exactly why the Garmin plan seems like the perfect fit for me. Now I have to say right off the bat that these are in no particular order, but these are the reasons why I'm actually choosing the Garmin Advanced Marathon Training Program. And first and foremost is the simplicity. Now if you do have a Garmin device, it's actually pretty simple to go into Garmin Connect on your app, or if you wanna go into Garmin Connect online, and I'll talk about that in just a sec, and fine, go into training, go into running, pick whichever training program, whether that's a 5K, 10K, half marathon, or marathon you wanna do. And then once you go into that, the easiest way to do it is actually to know when your race is going to be. And you can pick the end date for that training program, set it up as being the end date of when you're actually gonna finish your training. And Garmin will go in and automatically add every single workout to your calendar in Garmin Connect. When you sync that to your watch, when you go back on any given day and you go out for a run, it's gonna tell you exactly which run you have programmed for that day. You can start the run, go ahead, do your workout, do your easy run, whatever it happens to be. But it's very seamless and very simple. All right, so I mentioned I wanted to talk about the Garmin Connect and logging to it online versus logging into it on your app and actually setting up this training program. One of the things when I was doing some research for what I was gonna use for my next training block, when it came to the Garmin Marathon training programs, a couple of people had questions online in different forums about, I can't seem to find any of the marathon training programs in the app. And now if you go onto the Garmin Connect app on your phone, and you go into training and you go into runs, you're not gonna find one for a full marathon. The reason for this is that they don't have a guided program for a full marathon within the Garmin Connect app. What you actually have to do is you have to log into Garmin Connect online and actually go to the website, go into training, go into runs, and you'll see a variety of different runs there for the 5K, 10K half marathon, and even the marathon training programs are there as well. The difference is that a few of these programs and the ones you find on the app are guided training programs. What does that mean? That means that the program is going to adapt to exactly what your needs are 
and with the other programs like the one that I'm doing, they are considered to be self-guided. So what does that mean? That means that when you're doing a run like a threshold run, an easy run, a marathon pace run, any of this stuff, you're gonna to have to make the decisions. You're gonna to have to go separately from Garmin and decide on how quick your pace is with your thresholds, any of your intervals, easy runs, any of your runs at all. You have to figure out your own paces and you can go back and put those or program those into your watch so they come up when you're actually doing your run. But if it's self-guided programs, like their marathon programs are, you have to figure that stuff out for yourself and it doesn't make adjustments for you. You can move things around on the calendar. That's not a problem at all and you can add and take away whatever you want, but it's a little bit less guided than the guided programs. And the only way to find them is to log in to Garmin Connect online and not through the app. Otherwise, you just won't see the marathon training programs. And the second reason why I actually chose the Garmin Advanced Marathon Training Program has to do with variety. Now, I do have to say, and if you've watched any of my videos, the Hal Higdon program, again, was exactly what I needed. It helped me build up my base mileage. I needed to figure out how to run that fire, to how to run that full marathon distance, and I needed to do that in a way that kept me fairly injury-free throughout the whole training progress so that I could be successful in running the actual marathon. I'm not saying it is necessarily the best approach, Maybe Maffetone or heart rate training or something like a lot of the Hal Higdon programs is the best approach because it allows you to build up more mileage, maybe the same amount of mileage in the end, but build up a lot of mileage and do it with a lot of easy miles. Maybe that is the best approach. Part of the point of me making these videos is to share with you what I'm doing and, and whether or not things are working for me and what works for me is variety. I feel like if I'm interested in something, I'm more likely to follow it through, I'm more likely to take interest in it, and having that variety makes me feel like I, I'm just doing more. And also that variety helps me with my running. One thing I did notice that I was pretty good at holding a decent pace to run a decent pace for my marathon and holding that throughout. I ran pretty even splits during my marathon, but I want to do other runs, whether that's park runs or other 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons that I might have scheduled later on this year. So I want to build up those different engines to work on some of my anaerobic and not just my aerobic systems. So I'm able to run some of those shorter runs faster. So a little bit more work, adding that variety, adding some trail runs. By the way, super excited. Uh, you can't really, probably can't see it from here but I do have a, a Red Solomon uh, Pulsar trail running shoe that I just got. I'm super excited. Haven't done any trail running whatsoever, but I know it's something that I'm gonna instantly fall in love with and it's gonna continue to add variety. And in this Garmin program, there's even suggestions of doing some trail running during the program, mostly during some long runs, but just to add some variety and work on some different things in your running. And the third reason that I want to talk about is that the program is based on time and not distance. Now, I got to be honest with you, when I saw this the first time, when I was searching for my next marathon training program, I really was shying away from basing it on time than distance. And a lot of that had to do with just familiarity. I had just trained, come off a very successful first marathon training, and it was totally based on distance. Most of the Hal Higdon programs, other than the different efforts and the paces you're going to run at, ultimately at the end of the day, there's a certain amount of kilometers that you're supposed to put in during the week. And in my head, that's still very important that you actually do put in a certain amount of kilometers during the week because you do have to build up that mileage. Where time is interesting to me as opposed to going based off distance comes down to how that kind of affects how much effort you're putting into the program. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'll take the Garmin Advanced Marathon program and the long run that's coming up the first week here on the weekend as an example. And in that long run, you're actually running for an hour and a half or an hour and 40 minutes if you include the cool down, an hour and 45 maybe. But for me, that might mean 16 kilometers on that long run. But for somebody who's a more advanced runner, that might actually mean something like 20 kilometers. We both run the same amount of time, but because it is based on time and not based on distance, the total volume in terms of distance kind of gets adjusted 
to whatever my paces are, my easy pace versus somebody else. I don't know if that's making a whole lot of sense, but in my head, it makes perfect sense that when you're basing on time, it allows the program to kind of adjust with you a little bit better if you're basing it off of total mileage. If I'm not feeling it someday and an easy pace to me feels like it's gotta be seven minutes a kilometer, or feels like I have to do some walking or I'm feeling really good and an easy pace on that day feels like I'm doing six minutes per kilometer or 5.45 per kilometer, since it's based on time on that given day and on my abilities on that day, it kind of gets adjusted in terms of my total volume and distance. That's just the way it comes out in my head. That's my thoughts. If you have a different th thought on that or a different way of thinking about that, please put that in the comments down below. It'd be very interesting if anybody has sort of the same viewpoint on time versus distance of the run and any other benefits you might see in doing something based on time versus distance or distance versus time, whichever one you like better. Okay, that is it. Those are kind of the three big reasons why I've gone with the Garmin Advanced Marathon Training Program for my next training block for a marathon I have coming up in late fall. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I've got a lot of really fun content coming up. My name is Matt. This is what matters to Matt. And ultimately, what matters to me most is my family. I'll see you in the next one.